So we're gonna jump in this Cardi Nikki shit right away, or what? wow, <laughs> he, he didn't uh, even want to waste. Time. I mean, like, what are we wasting? Let's what are we really talk wasting? about it. Oh, I'm so excited to actually talk well, go about on. this. Go on, go on. Okay, so here's what happened just recently. Nicki Minaj went on Queen Radio and started talking everything that she wanted to say. Started Garbage. cussing her. She said that Ra was the one who beat her up, beat up uh, Cardi Cardi B. Ra beat up at that altercation that everybody saw. I was, I'll put the clip right here. If mm-hmm. you guys watch that, she said that Ra was the one who beat her up instead of the security guard. Yeah. So that's the story we heard. The security guard put that lump on her head. And then, like by accident. By accident. By accident. Like somebody and, Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj claims that it was her girlfriend, Ra, who did that to her. And she was mad at Ra for doing that to her. So listen to the clip and hear what she has to say. So just to clear everything up for people who don't know, Ra really, really beat Cardi's ass bad. Mm. Like really bad. And I'm not trying to, you know, and I'm not trying to be messy. You went home and told people that Security hit you. And we let that lie continue because of legal reasons. I told Ra, don't tell anyone you hit her because I don't want nobody trying to sue me. Because they're going to come to the person with money. Anybody that want to pull up the surveillance footage, I will give you $100,000. Pull up the surveillance <laughs> footage. Now, coming back... Cardi B goes out on her Instagram and starts telling everything. The whole facts, motorsport, everything that you thought that we knew that was going on, Cardi B spoke about. She clarified it. This is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there was going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. And she did. that's fucking why I love Cardi so much because even Cardi brings up the fact that like, okay, so you changed you changed your lyrics to the song mm-hmm. and you got mad, Nikki, that I went onto the radio and said, Oh, you know, she changed her lyrics, da 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 and she's like, But that wasn't a lie. You did change your lyrics and I straight up I guess she was trying to like diss Cardi, say something, mm-hmm. something you're my son and cardi's like i'm not doing the fucking video unless you guys change it right and then cardi what i love is cardi pulls it up and she goes sis i called you twice and you didn't answer your phone okay and if you really had a problem with it you could have talked to me like grown motherfucking woman instead you waited six months until your single released or whatever the fuck she was doing and she's like how convenient six months before she they she had to re she redid her lyrics is what happened she redid her lyrics and six months later she redid the lyrics and when they did the video shoot the day of the video shoot she got the final cut of her lyrics what do you think of that (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) honestly i think i'm like it's cool and all like i don't i really don't i really actually don't care Really? At all? I think it's I think it's funny. Like I really I think I love the entertainment of it, but like in the grand scheme of things, I really I just I don't give a fuck. Like they shouldn't be competing with each other. They're in two different lanes. That'd be like exactly if I don't know somebody who wrote like it's just there are two different people. We know Cardi doesn't write, so like we're over that. Like there's like why. I don't understand why Nikki keeps bringing this shit up and going after it. And then like Cardi's just be, like Cardi just got famous, yeah. So she like really doesn't know that like, you're not su- really supposed to say what happened. But then she has like screenshots and all the receipts of all of what she's saying, yeah. and it's like, yeah. All right, like, well, it's now sucks. you look just silly, and Nikki. But and now, at the end of the day, like I don't really care. Like I'll listen to Nikki features. I don't really care too much for her full songs. 
But Linky Features will be dope. Cardi songs will be dope. And like I'll, I don't really care. They're in two different so areas. So do you, do you like both of their music or do you prefer one over the other? I like, no, I like both of their music. Because Nikki was, Nikki was hot when I was early 20s. Back then. But so we're talking about right now. I mean, if you're looking at the times, the, if we're looking at the times, well, and we're looking were at the situation, at the this is where right she's supposed now, to be. Right now, Cardi, top. she's supposed Cardi, to. Yeah, Cardi's at the top. That's, Cardi, yeah, I'm Cardi's comparing doing her them. Thing. This is what Cardi's. This is the biggest Cardi's been. I'm comparing her to when the biggest Nicki Minaj was at. Because comparing them now, like there's, like Nicki Minaj hasn't had her own good song in how long? Exactly. Yes. And so that's why Anaconda, I, don't, I think, matter, was the last yeah. big song. Cardi has been the number one female rapper for two years straight. Solid. Two years straight, like shout out to big you, Cardi. up to Cardi. We're cheersing some, like, to that. Straight. Some crown like, that's some, for you. That's some shit. That's and loud. see the thing yeah, why I fuck with Cardi before this is because I was following her um, when before she even started making music on Instagram, and she was just like, I liked her because she was raw and authentic and just loud mouth and you know didn't care. And she was you know posting videos without any makeup and letting girls know that it's you know kind of like okay to. Be, to be yourself to be yourself uh-huh. to really be yourself yeah and then this song came out and i'm like what song is this <laughs> and i'm bobbing to it and people are like this is cardi b i'm like who the fuck is cardi b like i didn't actually know and it took some time to register and i was like wow i actually fucked with your music before i i fucked with you and then i started fucking with your music yeah. before i even knew that it was you so you know that's why i like her and nikki i appreciate a lot of her stuff from like way back then but mm-hmm. a lot of the time when i hear her on the radio i have to turn her off because yeah. i'm straight up annoyed and um i seen her once in concert and after the concert i was just like okay i got my nikki fix and i haven't really felt the need to like go back no i'm just not into her but there's so much other things that are important other than Cardi <laughs> and Nikki. You know even what? Though it heard? is exciting. What's that? I said even though it is exciting. It is exciting because I always watch like guys beef. You know what I mean? All the guys in the hip hop world, they're always beefing. Yeah. And it's really, it's kind of good to hear some ladies going in. Like little Kim used to try and beef people. Nobody cared. It's kind of like it feels like that right now. You know what I mean? Like when little Kim was trying to fight. Um, uh, Nicki Minaj, remember that when they were going at each other, or even when what? Remy Ma was going. Shout out Remy Ma, by the way, we love you. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, we love you. But even when Remy. you were going at Nicki Did Minaj, it was kind of like nobody really cares about the beef because Nicki's on top. So like, They're props to you. Pizza. But oh, they are sharing, sharing pizza. pizza. We'll show that. Yeah, pizza. sorry, I zoned out. I was like, <laughs> what are they doing? They're but the thing is. Pizza. The thing is that's different. Now we've got Cardi who's on top, and now Nikki's going after her. Yeah. Nikki, you're the queen. You shouldn't be talking that way. Whatever. Get over it. Make music. Come back with music. Don't talk no nonsense. We don't care. We really don't care. But I want to move to some nicer things. Akon. I respect Akon a lot. And Akon has been talking about running for president 2020. <sighs> He's talking about running against Trump 2020. It's real. See? He's been talking about it since like September. Where and was now, uh, Akon born? Senegal. Well, I mean, can't then. Well, why is he talking like he's going to? With Mark Zuckerberg. He can talk all he wants, he can't. <laughs> the conversation's over. Fact. Unless you're an American. <laughs> you have to That's be true. born in America yeah. to be the president. You can't. Yeah. yeah so, all right. Sorry. Conversation Damn, done. Damn. Damn. Holy. Yo, okay. oh, that was the end of that. Oh, oh, that's like, shit. yeah, done, cut. Yo. You don't think famous people should be no. running? No. I think people who have been, like, studying law and yeah, studying like, shit and are actual politicians, they should be fucking politicians. Not just, Facts. Just because not just one, like, not just because just because one famous dickhead got in. And you have money in, and you have like, a fucking opinion. Like, sorry, no, like, I'm Should sorry, you be like, like, hmm, let me just t- try to, t- like, if you want to change the world, do something else. So you think like, they should no, no, be no. in politics from day one? Yeah, you don't ask a fucking politician to fix your car. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Why Facts. are you going to ask some random person who has nothing no, nothing except being famous? Facts. And they just got in it. So now it's just because sudden, one yeah, one dickhead hmm. got in. So now what? We're just going to let everyone in the same yeah, show. People just, are like, oh, we should get Oprah to do it. No. Yeah. Fuck Oprah's a billionaire doing her own shit. She doesn't need this. And she was like, nah, I'm good. You know why? Because she's fucking smart. Yeah. And she knows she doesn't need that fucking drama. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. She's like, she's already lived her life. She's good. Like People who are in politics that go from the bottom to the top. 
That's it. Like it should be smart people. It shouldn't just yeah. be someone you just like. Anybody. Like I know. No, I know we're talking here. I know we said this guy's banned, but do you think Kanye is really gonna get it? Oh my God, we're not no. About this. No, he's no, not. He's not. No. Never. Okay. First all right, of all, okay. Let me say. Let me say this. Let me say this. Kanye West. Oh, Barack Obama was went to fucking. Oh, hold up, hold up. Kanye what? West. I'm talking to Quiet Storm. Kanye West said he was gonna run for presidency right? like two years ago. Was it two years ago or last year? All right, let me just end that all right now. Okay. That's funny to me. The first... <laughs> you don't remember this, dog? He did a huge speech, and then he dropped the mic. What is it, MVAs? One Two of the years MTV ago? Awards. One of the award shows. He did this humongous speech. Yeah. Like, he was supposed to go up there just to talk his shit. You remember? And then he came back like, I'm running for presidency 2020 and dropped the mic. I'm like, nigga, no, you're not. And then as time went on, I'm like, oh, he really is. He's actually going to run for presidency. Say what you say. All right. Let us remember which country this is, the United States of America. <laughs> yeah. The first black president <coughs> went to Harvard, then Columbia, and was top of his class. Facts. They're not going to let some black dude from Chicago who's been wilding out for the last how many, however many years... Especially, to get up in there, like I'm sorry. When he took the I award am, from Taylor Swift. I am so sorry, but there are we are the, we're Taylor. called the minority for a reason. There are Yo, more white people. Okay, and they, like it's not gonna happen. Okay, I agree. It's not gonna happen. I agree, but damn those if eyebrows. You, if you forget, if you forget, <laughs> she doesn't have any. <laughs> Yo, fuck, fuck outside. We I was saw that. To we be saw funny, that. Yo. Yo, but if you remember, these nuts, Welvin. These nuts actually was in the fucking primary. Like he, his name was in the election. It was a joke. I mean, Kay. how big of a joke is that when it's actually there? How much percent did he get? Nine percent. Was he? Did he have any chance to win? Talk to me about anybody grabbing nine percent of the primary. Anybody that okay. has nine percent. I right, feel like so that's, that's like saying, oh yeah, the team fucking out of the NBA playoffs, the team that went out in the first round. Oh, they. Yo, they almost had it. They went out in the first round. No, no, no. I'm That's saying. what primaries are. It's the first fucking round. It's not That's even true. the real shit. But these nuts. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because people were high and they're goofy and they don't exactly. actually That's care about crazy. it. That's fucking crazy. It's 9%. That's nothing. So 9% Yo. is a big number. Yo. No. 9% to somebody's votes? And, pri and, and primaries, it goes to these nuts? No, in primaries where it's usually like... Primaries are so split how they go by anyways in the States because it's, it's by each fucking party as well. True. So it's not like a primary of like all these people books together. It's a primary of the Democrat people. And there might be like four or two people. But Facts. everybody really only knows maybe one or two just off of name recognition. Yeah, that's true. So like it ends up being like 60%, 30, 20, and then nine. Here you go. I'll have your nine. You yeah, were never in it. but he still made nine. Okay. Can Live we, in your pipe dream. Let's I talk about something. To, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I really It'll do. It'll never happen. I know it won't. About I know what actually that's, I will not say Kanye West will not become president. That's about as silly as going on the new Titanic. Hey. Wow. <laughs> the See new that? Titanic. I'm See down that? for that. I'm down to talk are about that. Are you fucking that. kidding? Oh, you're down to talk I'm about that. I'm down to talk about that. Are you down that. to go on it? They the want new Titanic? No, they're baking a new Titanic. I know. You want you're round. asking if I would go on the new Titanic. Like yeah. I would participate, buy a ticket, and go stand on that boat. No. Well, they're never. going on like a cruise. No. no. I feel like they're okay, trying no, I, to, I was they're trying sure. to, they're I'm trying to sure. depopulate sure. people, and that's yeah. one way that I will not <laughs> fucking five. jump five. on that road. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> time out, time out. Let me be the first to say I was never ever even thinking. That's why I brought up because I'm like, anybody that goes on there, you're just dumb. You're just dumb. like, yeah. I know, how's Mr. A, how's a quick way but, we can eliminate a no, bunch no. of motherfucking but stupid like, idiots and have Titanic no. number two and make a movie about this shit <laughs> and get all our money back? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not a part of that. <laughs> no, no. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly, but you know, Mr. Devil's Advocate over here might have been Early. like, it might have been, you know, a nice weather to see. You know, it'd be Fuck great. No. no. No, but like I said before, I'm when Mans crazy. Was, I know when my man was coming in the store with a fucking whole ass <laughs> wow. cardboard thing and Izzy was like, yo, chill. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> if Dizzy says chill, you're going too far. Yeah, you're going, you're way going too far. far. Yeah. You're going and too I'm far. I'm very accepting. <laughs> he like, tries. I'm he tries very accepting. To, oh, like too much. He'll he'll try. He'll talk to anybody. <laughs> he'll like try wow. to link with anybody. He'll try to give you the benefit of all the doubts. He sees. If he sees, if he sees, he sees past it once and says and he nah, sees person. Nah. I see person he and I see person. happy. I see happy. I see people. No, no. I respect. He's but good. there is a line I have to draw, that and and that line is like almost crazy speaking of Go. lines being drawn Coke. 
I really want to talk about, you know, situations that happen. Mm. I want uh, Quiet Storm to share his story. uh, Oh. We never got to talk about that. Something that's just, you know, a little bit serious. We only got a little bit of time left. And I think that we focus so much on media and, you know, get distracted once in a while. But, like, at the end of the day, some real shit happens. Shit's happening around us that we you know are oblivious to maybe don't think that it can happen but like quiet storm all right well let, let yeah. him talk pass on the mic pass on the mic yeah. come, over here. Come, come chill my dude quiet yeah, storm yeah, ladies up, and gentlemen up, this up. is our dj all every every emotions tuesday like when emotions is going down we got our boy quiet storm doing his thing and he's always playing the best music for y'all but some shit happened like a little while ago talk to him yo i got beat up by the cops what? By VPD. What happened? Where were you though? I was just chilling. We were just chilling at my friend's house, mm. and um, they just like did someone just I don't even want to go into details, but I got I I was falsely accused and I just got beat up. You just got hit on. Yeah. And I don't know, like I'm doing something about it because like it, oh. it bugs me daily. To think like I was cooperating and like I didn't do anything wrong. They didn't tell me I was arrested at the moment, and this motherfucker just decided to sock me one. What? He hit you in your face? Yeah, right. twice, and then he kneed me in my temple. What? Yeah, but like he actually punched you in your face. Yeah. You know what he said? He told me that they were chilling in the house and they busted in the place and came in. For, for, for as far as I'm concerned, like, do you not need a warrant to just bust Facts. in a place like that? And secondly, it's, like, yeah. whether they it's tell you to whole. come in, like, all of those things, like, that's wrong right there. There must have been beef happening in the house. Yeah, there was. There was nothing like, like small things. Yeah. So, so what are you feeling like? I was just here. They put their hands on you and shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you just, you're just cool. And I'm a cool guy. I'm, you know, I'm a good guy. I have no record, like nothing like that. Mm. So what do you yeah, think about like, VPD right now? I hate him. Word. I don't like him. Like I've heard, this is not the first thing. Like I've heard it from other friends and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And like it's black not friends. Cool. Yeah, and it's not cool. Like. You know, they'll get you cornered, and then when you're vulnerable, they'll attack you. You know, and it's because just, you can't do nothing. I just think it's so crazy because we sit here and we watch like this stuff on TV, and as much as like we try to be like, oh yeah, it's out there, but it's like it's so close to home, and you know, what I mean? it's like right in your face. And it's not, it's not, it's not it's all true. of them. You know, I I believe there are good cops out there. There are the good ones out it's there. It's true. That will assess the situation before, but I don't, you know, I want everyone to, like I, it's a thing, yeah, our safety, right? Uh-huh. You don't want to be scared when you call these guys. Nobody ever wants <laughs> to be scared for doing anything. This ain't no states. Okay, so. So if you could say one thing to anybody who may go through that experience, like. What would you suggest? It, like, Cooperate to the fullest. Word. Yeah. To the fuck. fullest. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't, you know, like if you, if you are like, just, you look traumatized, man. you know, like, because I never had, I, I don't, I don't like when people beat up on me. I never let, I never, I don't like, like, I have a boy in Calgary. I couldn't do nothing. I have a boy in Calgary named Henry. He actually got beat down by cops and it's recorded and he's trying to get his money right now and they're playing with him. He's going for like three mil. And they're playing with him right now. Like, they won't give him the money. They feel like it was justified what they did. And he's literally... I talk to him on the regular. And he feels like they're fucking with him on the regs. Yeah. That's why. Well, still go for it. Still Facts. fight. Yeah, don't you should that, keep going. Don't let that discourage you. Keep on going. Yo, before we leave, before we leave, I just want to do one more topic. Because my boy, I know he was really talking about this. And I really want to know what he's talking about. The Warriors against Fergie's X-Men. Please talk to me about this. <sighs> well, over the overview of the situation, it's the last uh, All-Star game, Fergie. She tried to do her own little fancy rendition of the National Anthem. Time out. Time out. 
What? That was not a fancy rendition. That was the worst. Did you did you hear what I said? Fancy. She tried she to tried do her to. own she version of a fancy rendition. Yeah. And it bombed fancy very badly. That was the worst. Very badly. That was the worst. Let me finish. Ugh. It bombed very badly. And so what happened was the camera people in the like in the arena were filming all the players and people in the crowd <laughs> and, the and they and the reactions and they all noticed it on the screen and so they started kind of laughing and they couldn't really hold it in because <laughs> like once people are watching you then you want to start laughing yeah so she freaking used to be married to josh dumal <laughs> so i really don't uh, understand what where this guy just felt like he wanted to just be famous for a day i guess i don't yeah. know because 15 minutes and because like this happened over the weekend the all-star game was last february yeah so like really what are you saying like what do you mean anyway he was like he thought it was classless that draymond was laughing and blah blah and he's like i, I demand an apology an for apology. Fergie. so what the warriors did is i'm sure you've all heard the remix oh, that yes. re- that's the way the remix no. god did no i haven't heard this so um, i haven't heard this you, I you have video. heard it if you'll you'll We've you'll have heard it because it was like they put it on so many different things okay. but anyway so the warriors what they did is they they right at like right after the game they're like having their self like in the hot like in the fucking coolers like icing down and shit and they're playing it and they're all just dancing yeah. and looking at the camera just dancing and they posted it and just left it and then josh mills like oh you know if you go at the champs you know i know better now and it's like you're a fucking goof bro wow like yeah. what are you doing you got yeah. clowned and everybody is clowning you so just your go girl away. got clowned she clowned herself she really did yo when was the last time you heard a fergie track I, she, I, I think she came out with something like recently, not recently. like kind of like a couple nothing. years ago. The last thing I that's heard. Not, that's not from Fergie was dope for a minute. She them was. Fergie, them, she them humps, made bananas. Them humps no. was lit. She bananas made. was Gwen Stefani, bro. Oh, that's real. Wow. <laughs> wow. This nigga. See, I'm you getting it the, twisted. I'm not my bad. I'm not, yeah. Yo, my bananas. bad. I just thought both them girls was the same person. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> because I ain't listening to none of these. Rum and Coke Radio, each and every Tuesday, right here with myself, the short one. We got Drunk DZD right beside me. Early we with that. Holiday, really? Early Miss Holiday. With that. And then we got Quiet Storm. <laughs> it's great being with y'all this weekend. And have a great fucking day. Yeah. Rubbing radio. Rubbing radio. Rubbing radio.